welcome to this week's equipment class. For today's class, you're just going to need a mat, a headrest, a circle or cushion, a looped band, and then also a straight band. So you can just take this and tie it into a knot if you just have a long band. And then two light weights or water bottles, and then lastly, a foam roller or a small ball. So we'll get started off with the warm up, kind of same as usual. So knees just under the hips, hands under the shoulders. Starting off by dropping that rib cage down all the way, arching the back, looking up in front, and then rounding out the spine, getting a nice stretch through the back, chin to the chest, dropping the rib cage down, arching the back, looking up in front, rounding out the spine, looking down between the knees, and dropping that rib cage down, arching the back, looking up. Rounding out the spine, looking down between the knees. And once more, dropping the ribcage down, arching the back and looking up. And then coming to a neutral flat back, twisting that left foot out to the side, looking to the left. Back to the center, right foot looking to the right. Good, left foot, so make sure your knee stays down on the mat. Right foot, left foot, right. Left, one more on the right side. And then we'll grab a light weight. And we've done this before, so this is called thread the needle. So it's just a really good strengthening um, and mobility exercise, more so. So it just gets a good um, mobility for the thoracic spine, so your mid-back. So we're gonna grab a weight in the left hand, and a weight is optional, you don't have to use a weight here if you don't want to. We're gonna reach that left arm down towards the right hip, feel a nice stretch opening up, rotating, getting some rotation through the mid-back. We'll just do five, so reaching again to the right, twisting open to the left. And if this is painful, first of all, try it without the weight, and then secondly, just don't twist as far. Good. And one more. And then switching sides, so weight in the right hand if you're using a weight. Reaching down to that left hip, twisting open and reaching. Good, three more. Two, and last one. And then we'll put the weight to the side. We'll get a nice neutral spine here, so make sure you're not arching like this, so you just want your back to be nice and flat. And then we'll straighten out the right leg behind and the left arm in front. And then small circles with the arm and leg, keeping the back flat. And lower down. Left leg, right arm, neutral flat back, and then small circles. And lower, shifting all the way to the left side, straightening out the right leg and the right arm. And then once you have your balance, small circles. And lower down, shifting the weight to the right side. Left leg, left arm. And once you have your balance here, small circles. And lower down. Then we'll grab, if you have a roller, we'll grab a roller. Otherwise, just keep your um, hands just down on the mat. So two hands on the roller. Try to bring it directly under your shoulder blades. If you get um, sore wrists, just bring it a little bit in front. Otherwise, try to bring it right under. Take the toes underneath, pinch the shoulders back, lift the knees up, and we'll hold for 10 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower down. Good. Next up, we'll do the hand. So we'll lift one hand up and then the other. Dig the toes in, pinch the shoulders back, lift the knees up, lift up the right hand and the left. Right, left, right, left, one more on the right, one more on the left, and lower. And then lastly, we'll lift up each foot individually. Pinch shoulders back, lift the knees up, right foot, left foot, right, left, right, left, right, left, one more on the right, one more on the left. Lower down, bring the knees apart nice and wide if you have the roller. Just lean into it, stretching out the chest and the back and the shoulders. 
you don't have a roller, just bring the hands down onto the mat. Then we'll bring that right arm underneath and just crawl it a little bit further, get a nice stretch, lean to the right. And then left hand, crawl those fingers, leaning to the left, getting a nice stretch just into that rotator cuff, so into the back of the shoulder blade, the muscles there. And then we'll just lift the hips up. Bring the knees together and then just leaning into the roller one more time. This is getting into the lats a bit more and into the shoulders. Good, and then we'll put the roller to the side for now. And we'll come onto our backs. And keep the weights handy just to make the toe taps a bit harder. It's optional if you want to make them harder. So just bring the uh, weight on either side, just so you have them there. Starting off with imprinting the spine and then bring the legs up in a tabletop, tapping the right foot down and then the left. Shoulders are relaxed, really pushing that back down so you shouldn't be able to fit your hand underneath here. Good. Now to make it harder, both arms up, Ooh, making sure you're holding onto the weights. So this is option one. Option two is tapping and reaching back with the opposite arm. So we've done this one a good few times. Hopefully it's getting a bit easier. If you're still finding it hard to coordinate it, that's okay. Just practice holding them up because you're still working the arms as you hold them up. It's good to try to pinch your shoulders back just to activate the muscles around your shoulder blades. So if you want to make harder, tapping back. Good, one more on each leg. And lower down. Weights down by your side if you have them. Imprint, legs in the tabletop, squeeze the legs together, tapping both down and coming back up. Tapping both and back up. And then again, to make it harder, arms up. And then next option, reaching back with both at the same time. Really push your ribs, rib cage down if you're doing this option, because they can tend to flare. Good, three more. Three, two, and one, good, and then lower down. Put the weights to the side. We'll grab the circle, and then we'll bring the circle just above the knees. Feet flat on the mat, imprint the spine, squeeze the circle nice and tight, and relax. Squeeze and relax, squeeze and relax. Focusing on the imprint, just warming up your adductor, so your inner thigh, pelvic floor, so the bottom of the core. Good, three, two, one. Keep the circle squeezed, right leg out to the side, left leg out to the side. Right leg, left leg, try to keep the hips still. Don't let them move. If you find that you're kind of rolling to the side, just don't go as far, really push down. Good, three, two, and one, and then grab the circle. Then we'll grab that roller again. So roller or ball, or if you don't have either, just leave the feet down on the mat. Two feet on the roller, circle above the knees, squeeze the circle nice and tight. Imprint, lifting up, and lower. Good, imprint and lift, and lower, imprint and lift, and lower, imprint and lift. And lower, imprint and lift. And lower, good. Three more. Two. And one, good. And then we'll bring the elbows on the mat and hands on the rib cage for the next one. Squeezing that circle nice and tight. Imprint the spine, lift the hips up. And lower, 
imprint and lift, and lower, imprint and lift, and lower, imprint and lift, and lower, and lower, good. Two more, and last one. Perfect, and then we'll cross the arms across the chest, squeezing that circle nice and tight. Imprint and lift, and lower, imprint and lift, and lower, lift, and lower. If you're feeling this more in your hamstrings, do try to bend your knees a little bit more. That's why I'm just correcting this roller here as it slides away, because you'll work the glutes more. With your legs out like this, you get more of the hamstrings. So if your roller's kind of sliding out from under you, don't worry. Just take that extra second just to correct it. Good, two more. Last one, keep the hips up. Squeeze and relax, squeeze and relax. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Lower down, we'll put the circle, or sorry, the roller out of the way. Keep the circle for now. Good, grab the circle, imprint the spine, legs in the tabletop. Squeeze the circle nice and tight and relax. Squeeze and relax. Squeeze and relax. Try to keep the legs in the tabletop. Squeeze and relax. Three, two, one. Keep the circle squeeze. Slowly relax. One, two, three, squeeze. 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 Good, three more. Squeeze, two more. Squeeze, last one. Ten quick squeezes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Grab the circle, rest the feet down. Only a few more here with the circle. And knees are bent, circle just above the knees, squeeze the circle, straighten up that right leg. Right leg out to the side and together, out to the side together, out to the side together. Try to keep that left leg as still as possible. Out to the side together, five, four, three, two, and one. Bend the right leg, squeeze the circle, straighten up the left leg, left leg out to the side and together. Out to the side together. Out to the side together. Four, three, two, and one. Bend the leg, grab the circle. Only two more with the circle. Legs in the tabletop, circle now between the ankles. Squeeze the circle nice and tight and relax. Good, keeping that spine imprinted, shoulders relaxed. Breathing normally, squeeze and relax, squeeze and relax, squeeze and relax, good, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Straighten the legs, squeeze and relax, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Grab the circle, straighten the legs out. And then we're going to do a couple roll-ups with the circle. If you don't have a circle, you can use weights. So for this, it's good to have a bit of resistance. So try to hold on to two light weights like we normally do. Otherwise, if you do have a circle, it just incorporates your chest and your biceps a bit more as you squeeze it. So reach in the arms back, squeeze the legs together. Gently squeeze the circle. Arms forward, chin to chest, rolling up, sitting up nice and tall. Slowly rolling down, vertebrae by vertebrae, reaching back. Arms forward, chin to chest, rolling up, shoulders pinched, squeezing that circle, rolling down. Arms forward, chin to chest, rolling up, pinching the shoulders back. Good. Rolling up. And now if you want to make it harder, reaching up. And slowly rolling down. Rolling up. Good. Two 
Two more. And last one. And rolling down. Perfect. Put the circle to the side. Have a quick rest and get your band ready next, the loop band. If you don't have a loop band, if you have a long one, just tie it in a knot and make a loop out of it. So whichever you have. And then we'll bring the band just up above the knees. Bringing the feet together, imprinting the spine. Pull the knees apart nice and wide and back together. So just keeping that spine imprinted apart, together, apart, together, nice and controlled here. Apart, together, apart, together. Good, three, two, one. Keep the band apart, cross your arms across the chest, imprint and lift, and lower, imprint and lift, and lower. This should be easy now without the roller. Lift, and lower, lift, and lower. If you wanna make it easier, bring the elbows down. Good. Two more. Then we're gonna stay up for 10 pulses. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Perfect, lower down, rest the legs for a second. Straighten up that right leg, bring the right leg out to the side and back together, out to the side together. Keeping that left leg as still as possible. Out to the side together. Four, three, two, one. Bend the right leg, straighten up the left leg, left leg out to the side, and together. Out to the side together. Out to the side together. Three, two, and one. Bend the left leg, rest the foot down. Next, we're gonna imprint the spine, lift the hips up, pull the knees apart together, and then lower down. So kind of a mix of a bridge and then abduction. Abduction is the movement when the knees come apart. So just focusing on, on strengthening the glutes, especially your gluteus medius, which is a really important um, muscle in the glutes, and it helps to put the knees in the correct position as well when you're walking and running. So, Bring the feet together, knees apart, nice and wide, imprint and lift, apart, together, and lower. Good, imprint and lift, apart, together, and lower, imprint and lift, apart, together, lower, imprint and lift, apart, together, and lower, imprint and lift, lower, lift, apart, together, good, six, lower, seven, good, Eight, squeeze the glutes nice and tight. Nine, one more, keep the hips up. Apart together, apart together, apart together. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Whew, lower down. Hopefully you're feeling that all around the glutes. Next up, we'll bring the legs to tabletop, bring the legs apart and together, keeping them parallel. Keeping the spine imprinted. Apart together, three, two, and one. Bringing that band down around the ankles, apart and together, perfect. Three, two, one, straighten the legs up, apart together, apart together. If you need to keep a slight bend in the knee, like me. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Perfect, bend the legs, grab the band, put the band to the side, and give the legs a rest just for a second. And then we'll do a few things for the lower abdominals next. 
Legs in a tabletop, squeeze the legs together. Hands behind the head, chin to the chest, rolling forward, elbows and knees in together, knees and elbows apart. In together and apart. Good. Five, six, keep the chin to the chest. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Grab the legs, resting down. Imprint, legs, stand up, straighten the legs up, small flutter kicks with the legs, keeping the spine imprinted, shoulders relaxed. Five, four, three, two, and one. Rest the legs down. Imprint the spine, legs to tabletop, straighten up that right leg. Small circles with the right leg, keeping the left leg in tabletop. Gradually make the circles bigger, more oval shaped. Bend the right leg, straighten up the left, small circles on the left. For three, two, and one. Rest the legs down. Then we'll roll onto our stomachs and we'll grab the weights down by your side just to make things harder. We'll just do a couple here for the low back and the mid back. And then we'll finish off with some glutes and stretching. So we're nearly there. So we'll start off holding the weights in each hand. If you don't want to use any weights, that's okay. Just don't use any weights. Chin to the chest. Press the legs into the mat. Lift the chest up. Twist the arms back. Pinch the shoulders together. And lower. Lifting up. Twist and pinch. Lower. Really good for improving your posture, this exercise. It's called a turtle. Lifting up, twist and pinch, and lower. Lift, twist and pinch, and lower. We have four more. Three, two, and one. Good, we'll put the weights to the side. Then we'll rest our forehead on our hands. Lift both legs up, small flutter kicks with the legs. and lower. Squeeze the legs together, lift both legs up, and lower. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Make sure you press the hips into the mat as you lift. Really engaging your core. Three more, two, and one. Lower down, lift both legs up, bring them apart and together. Apart together, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Bring the hands under the shoulders, lifting up into a cobra. So again, you could do mini cobra or full. And we'll do one more of those. So your hips should stay in contact with the mat. Mine are lifting a little bit, so I'm just going to lower down you don't want to be like this where your hips are fully lifted. You want your hips to stay in contact. And then we'll come onto our side and we'll come all the way down. So your back should be lined up with the back of your mat and your feet should just be in the front corner just to help take pressure off your low back. So lift both legs up, lift the top leg up and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower. Five, six, seven, keep that leg nice and long. Eight, nine, and 10, keep the top leg up, small circles forward. Try to keep the bottom leg up if you can. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and backwards, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower the leg. Top leg up as high as you can, small pulses. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lower down. Top leg up, lift the bottom leg to touch and lower, lift and lower. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep the bottom leg up, lift the top leg and lower. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Lower down. 
both legs up, big circles with the front leg, staying in front of the bottom leg. Try to keep that bottom leg up if you can. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch directions. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Last one. Bend the knees. Bring the ankles up. Bring the knees apart and back together. Apart together. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Lower down. And then we'll come onto our opposite side. And coming all the way down, back end up at the back of the mat, feet into the front corner. Lifting the top leg and lower. Oh, try to lift the bottom leg if you can. Nearly forgot. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep the top leg up, small circles forward. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Small circles back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Top leg as high as you can, small pulses. Two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lower down. Top leg up. Lift the bottom leg and lower. Lift and lower. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lift the top leg and lower. Good. Keep the bottom leg up. Three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Three left here. Both legs up. Big circles. Forward, up, back, and down. Staying in front of the bottom leg. Good. Four, three, two, one. Switch directions. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Bend the knees, ankles up, knees apart, and together. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Perfect. Rest the legs down. And then we'll come onto our backs, and then we'll just finish off with some stretching and then a few upper body exercises just with the long band. So pull the right knee to your chest, holding it in nice and tight. And then right arm out to the side, twisting across into a spinal twist. Try to keep that right arm down as you twist your body across. Back to the center, left knee into your chest. And then left leg across. Back to the center, right ankle over the left knee, grab behind the left thigh to stretch out the glutes. And switching over. Left foot down, straightening up the right leg. And then switch. Bend the right leg, grab behind the left. And then bending the left leg. And then we'll grab the long band. Starting off, we'll just do a two exercises here. So just to work on the muscles in the back of the shoulder blades. So we'll keep the elbows at your side. This is working two muscles in the rotator cuff. So pull the shoulders back, pull the hands apart nice and wide, and back together. So keep your elbows in at your side. 
and your shoulders are pinched back. Good. Three more. Two and one. Good. And then next one, just called shoulder blade squeeze. So arms out in front, pull back, squeeze, and come back to the center. So the, the tighter you hold it, the harder it will be. Squeeze at the back and then back to the center. Squeeze. Good. This is, these are both really good for just improving your posture. So we don't end up all rounded like this. Good, five more. Squeeze at the back. Four, three, two, and last one. Perfect, and then we will put the band to the side and we'll finish with that.